Hello, this is Say Reed, and we are here still at WordCamp Orange County 2016, and I am here now with Nick Roach, the owner and or founder, and or, and, and. And founder, yeah. And founder, not and or, <laughs> yeah. founder of um, Elegant Themes, which is a very popular uh, theme, what would you call it? Um, yeah, we develop WordPress themes and plugins. I would call it a theme world or a theme, theme land because yeah. it's like a land unto itself. So uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, tell me a little bit of how you got into WordPress in in the first mm. place. What brought you? What's your WordPress witnessing story? Well, I mean, I was in, before WordPress. I was doing kind of just web design. I was actually selling static HTML templates. So before I was selling themes, I was selling templates, and it was a natural progression as WordPress, the WordPress market. So developed, went to themes, yeah. So you come from like a, an HTML programming background, or like a design background? Well, I would say I'm, um, I'm more of a designer than a coder. The coding stuff I kind of learned uh, secondarily. Um, went to school for graphic design, but before that, it was more just a fascination with the internet, I suppose. I wanted to make my own website, so that's kind of how we all started, I guess. Yeah. And then... Um, GeoCities. Yeah, so it was actually Angel Fire, which was a thing back then. <laughs> Angel so, Fire! Yeah, so I remember Angel Fire. Angel Fire site. It was for my band in middle school, and then I ended up being kind of more into the web design than the music. <laughs> and then I kind Were of you a bass player? Me. Nah, drums. Oh, yeah. would not have guessed that one. No. All right, all right. So, uh, oh, that's me talking. Yes. Uh, so, tell me a little bit. You, you. Uh, how many word camps have you been to? Um, so I've been to the SF one, the one they used to have that twice, and then this one. So just three. Wow. So yeah. you're kind of like a, a little bit of a, a little. Well, you're definitely Word Camp Orange County noob. Yep. Doesn't yeah, get often you get to be called a noob, no. but we're we're noob <laughs> yeah. we're noob designating you. I'm more of a gamer. I get called that sometimes, but. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you playing Pokemon Go? No, but my one of my employees is Andy. He's really into it. So there's we're, Pokemon so we're, everywhere. We're um, driving back from. We have a little uh, Divi Clubhouse, um, and we were driving back here, and the Lyft driver slash Uber driver was saying he was on Pokemon Go. He's like, "Yeah, man, I was on the freeway yesterday, and someone like was like yelling at me, stop, 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 stop! I found a Pokemon!" And, like, and apparently, like people are getting crashes and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. So no, well. I'm not playing though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just had to ask. It's very topical. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about your experience at WordCamp. So you went to WordCamp San Francisco, mm -hmm. which is the national, basically the de was the default national right. one. Did you not go to WordCamp US last year? I didn't. No, but I think I might go this year. Yeah. You should definitely go. Um, so my experience has always been very positive. It's always an amazing experience. But this WordCamp is particularly special because we kind of like um, a big cohort of Divi users. Divi is like our flagship theme and elegant themes. We have 20 odd people people here from around the world, um, like overseas, traveling to this WordCamp for the WordCamp and more to, see, to meet each other. And it's like this really great kind of family experience and it's been amazing. So this um, WordCamp is particularly special for that reason. But it's all about the community and meeting people. Um, yeah. That's, that seems to be the, the underlying thing. What is it about the community that attracts you to it? The WordPress community, it's just, um, I guess, I mean, I think we're all grounded in the same kind of like, we have this open source kind of core to us and it's all about giving and um, contributing and, and it just makes for a really open community and the fact that it's this worldwide thing, you get to meet so many people from so many different places, um, our company as well, we have, we have people from like 10 countries, so it's, it's just uh, it's, it's an amazing thing that's brought us all together and, and yeah. Do you find uh, when you meet people at word camps and they find out like who you are, the ooh, elegant themes, they get like really excited, kind of fan, fan person-y at all, or they just immediately start talking to you about support, or they, like, like they've known you forever, or what's your experience with um, your people? Well, with, with our kind of our, our little Divi family here, it's been a lot like, you know, we're meeting, it's, it's, it's not like we're meeting for the first time, you know, we have these Facebook groups and we're always on there and talking, so it's, um, um, when someone outside that group meets me, I, I wouldn't say it's a fan, like a fanboy thing. It's um, I do get a lot of people going, like um, being um, genuinely interested in what we're doing and kind of like um, wanting to give suggestions and this kind of stuff. So we do meet a lot of people kind of uh, randomly who've used Divi, and they often like to tell me what they don't like about it, and what we should change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that tends to be what I find, especially like even yeah. at the sponsor booth. I was like, oh, you're here. Let me tell you everything exactly. right now, and yeah. then fix it for me. Yep. Yeah. So, um, how long has Divi been the, a thing actually around as a as a theme? Hmm, I guess like. Maybe it's been like two years now. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's basically kind of taken over um, our business. So we we have around 80 themes, and these days it's like Divi has eclipsed them all, um, and so it's kind of like our main focus. Yeah. In, has eclipsed them in terms of uh, popularity, like that mm -hmm. people are using, or have eclipsed them in terms of code, or has eclipsed them in terms no, of everything else is now 
being able to made through how how so? Yeah, it's Eclipse in, in usage. So mm. basically, like our company is is our, our, the theme part of our company is really all about Divi now, and it's kind of like new using it as a framework to. Um, we like we have so we have we have the Divi builder, which is kind of this page builder um, core, and we use it to kind of like launch other products and. And it, yeah, it's, it's like I say, it's, it's kind of taken over um, our business. Yeah. Do you feel that your business, when you say it like that, um, you know, WordPress tends to flow as you know, change and shift. It's part of the the community open source ethos. Do you follow that kind of a of a plan, or is it something that you're more strategic about? Like you know exactly where you're going to go, or do you take kind of cues from what's happening trend wise in the community? No, I know. I think anyone that says they know where they're going in ten years, five years, two years is probably. Uh, lying. I mean, you never really know. And I think going with the flow is a very, uh, yeah, important thing to do. Yeah. So I mean, it was, it was, it's been obvious to us that that our customers wanted some more control. They wanted the the builder aspect to it, and and that's what we gave them. And I mean, there's this obvious kind of trend towards these these visual builders. I mean, it's what people want, and uh, I think it's it's an important thing um, for WordPress to have, um, whether it be in the form of plugins or themes, or maybe whether they ever kind of build their own thing. It's it's it, it's what people want, you know. And and I think it's an important for it's, a, it's an important thing to be available um, so we can compete with you know Squarespace and Wix and these other these other content management systems. Um, how do you, uh, in terms of that builder thing, how do you uh, relate then to WordPress core? Do you participate in that at all, or does your team participate in that, or do you just more through WordCamps and participating in that kind of way in the community, or are you guys part of the, the actual code and that conversation as well that's happening? So not me personally these days. I haven't touched a line of code in so long. I mean, I used to develop themes in the beginning, but I can't call myself a developer anymore. In fact, I don't even give myself um, the authority to commit code, you know, <laughs> uh, on our repos. You like all. fired yourself. Basically, yeah. I mean, we have several, you know, a chain of kind of command that goes that I don't have. I have, I have CSS commit access. So that's about it. But, um, you know, I can't say that, that any of our members have ever gotten that kind of like core commit badge yet. Um, but I'm, I'm sure something will get and strive, strive to get, yeah. So. so in terms of WordCamps, what are your, um, are you, this is your, you're all meeting here for any particular reason or just you picked this one or you like Irvine or <laughs> Orange uh, so County? Actually, so the, yeah, the, the reason we all got together, well, it wasn't my idea actually, it was, it was the community's idea. Um, one of our kind of like big community members, Gino in the Divi community kind of um, he rented a house and invited everyone out, and so he kind of was the one that started it. And then Nathan and, and Andy and Mitch, uh, my fellow Elegant Themes team members, and I came out here to meet with them. Um, yeah, so it was kind of like their idea, and we followed along. That's awesome. So in that case, that you were following what the community wanted yeah. specifically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, do you plan to get more involved, come to more WordCamps, do more WordCamps over the next year? Mm -hmm. You personally, or Elegant Themes also? Um, uh, definitely, not maybe not me personally, but we have like we've been, we have an, an, an initiative um, at our company to kind of become more. Well, we're already very community centric. It's like we we realize how important that is, and in fact, we kind of want to model ourselves around around WordPress. We see Divi becoming kind of like a mini WordPress inside of WordPress. The way the community is evolving. Um, and we, we look at WordCamps as like, you know, it's something we, maybe we want to do, have Divi camps, you know, kind of have this. And so we look to the WordPress community as like kind of like um, a thing to aspire to for us. And so partaking in that community is very important. And um, Nathan, who has the Divi Nation podcast, he's been to several WordCamps. You see him around here doing interviews similar to you. Um, I may have photobombed them, yeah. maybe. And then, um, also, um, another content guy we have coming on board, Mac, um, he's also going to be going to WordCamp. So yeah, we want to kind of like try to attend more, try to participate more, maybe even speak a little bit, but more just kind of like be here in the community. Um, it's an important thing to meet in person. So yeah. uh, so what about you personally over the next year? What are you most excited about in terms of uh, WordPress, what's coming up in WordPress core, like the code or design or what's happening now, or even like WordPress community or in your world that's happening now that you're most excited about? Well, I think I'm probably going to probably going to say something everyone said, which is like kind of the, uh, the WordPress API and kind of what that could mean for the future, you know? So um, obviously everyone's excited about that. And I'm kind of curious to see where that takes us. I know it's like people ask, well, where do you see kind of like your business in five years? Like, will you even be making themes? Will themes exist? And there's these big questions, you know, what's virtual reality mean? You know, it's like, and who knows, right? But like, I think like the next one, the next big steps is obviously the API and kind of like what kind of new applications might be made. Um, we're, we're learning a lot of JavaScript now. So our, our Divi is being rebuilt in React, which is cool. And so kind of like learning this, these, this new stuff and kind of like seeing how that could, you know, um, utilize the API and, and it's exciting stuff. So I am very curious to see what happens. I'd say maybe in like three or four years, 
it could be it could be really different, you know. So I'm excited to partake in that. Yeah, me mm -hmm. too. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Yeah, thank you. It was great to meet you. Yeah. Thanks. This was again. This is Nick Roach. Are you on Twitter? I'm um, just at Elegant Themes. Yeah. At Elegant Themes on all the things. Bye. <laughs>